What's going on? Not oh. too much. I just got here. I, I left my car at work and I had to catch an Uber over there quickly and then drive down super fast. I just got here. Oh, no. I just got the coffee going. <laughs> so oh. we're, uh, we're ready to go. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, I just grabbed my coffee too. Um, I had to rush back as well. I was in the, I don't know if you've been to Boston, but I was in the North End where all the Italian shops are. Oh man, I haven't been, but I can't wait to go. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We were supposed to be in the States last year, but then COVID happened. I know, right? Yeah. Screw up COVID. I mean, it's ruined so much. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, we're all in it together. So hopefully exactly, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll get back to normal soon. I know. Yeah. I feel like we're kind of starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm I remaining so. optimistic. Yeah. Fingers crossed, right? Oh, yeah. I've actually never <laughs> been to Vancouver, but it's been on my bucket list. I mean, how how was it growing up? Um, it, does it have like a booming music scene when you guys were growing up? <laughs> actually, nobody in the band is from Vancouver. <laughs> oh, really? So you guys are just kind of based out of there now? or You know, like in the surrounding area, but nobody is actually from proper Vancouver. Like I'm yeah. from oh, Vancouver okay. Island, and then James is from uh, Port Moody, and then Mitch is from Alberta, Tris from Fort St. John. So kind of like around Vancouver, but um, funny how we all ended up here. Yeah. And, We're all from yeah. our province, but yeah, we all, it's because Vancouver is like one of the two like music hubs in Canada. There's like Toronto and Vancouver. And none of us really want to go to all the way across the country to Toronto to like yeah. pursue music. So Vancouver is like obviously the natural choice for like to go down to try to do something with music. So oh, that's, okay. we just all ended up here and met here. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> and so you guys worked a bit with uh, Crispin Earl of the Beer Union, and he's a cool guy. I mean, how, how has it been working with him? Is it a lot of fun in the studio? It's been so awesome. Like, I'm sure we both have so much to yeah. say on this one, but um, it's just been cool. Like the, the learning piece for us, like, you know, we've, we've been at it for a while and trying different things and whatnot. And then like getting in to like, you know, a studio that's just optimized and like super efficient. And like, he just knows just what to do, when to do it. It's like just uh, a kind of like a, a blur, but in the best way ever, like you're just in, it's like, what? Oh my goodness, things are happening all of a sudden, boom, final product. And then like, you know, hair is blowing backwards. Like, oh my God, it's so awesome. <laughs> so like, I, I've, yeah, we've all loved it so much. I don't know if you want to add. Yeah, I know. Well, he's actually like producing our whole like upcoming EP with us. So it's, yeah, it's definitely been a cool experience for sure. Yeah, the last two singles, uh, Screamworks and then Scratching at the Surface, they're both killer tunes. So I think, you know. Thank you. Your collaboration with him is, you know, headed in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, he's I definitely, so he, he definitely gets our vibe and where we're going with our music. And he definitely like emphasizes things and helps, helps a lot, like steer in a positive direction for it, for sure. We definitely work well with him. Yeah, and he's been good on the the image piece too. The image is really big for us, and like the the videos, I think were like really um, important to us. Just with the the live shows kind of gone and stuff, so the video was like a really big deal, and they just killed it on the videos and executing that. And it was super collaborative and like oh, just like the best time. Yeah, I was going to ask, you know, how much fun is it making the music videos? Because watching them, they're fun to watch. So I imagine behind the scenes, it was a blast too. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool experience, but uh very sore necks <laughs> really fun to like conceptualize and like yeah we'll we'll hang out like kind of like right here on this this couch and just be like yeah it's okay like this and we're like then this will happen and da, 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 and then you go through and then you know the day comes and it's like 12 hours at least of like working like really hard like uh, in the screenworks video all of that racking that we're standing on like we set up ourselves and it's like, you know, then you're up there like rocking out over and over and over again, especially Mitch <laughs> a lot drumming behind in the background of every single take. Like we're, uh, we sleep all day the next day for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm um, talking about the lyrics of the song. It seems very relatable. Um, and you guys mentioned it's been cathartic for you. Can you talk a little bit about how it's been cathartic? Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's... um. Got so much, so much to say about Screamworks. Honestly, it's one that we've been working on for a while, and it's kind of like always been getting slow upgrades over time. So it's just it's cathartic in a way that it has just like so much of our history of our experience trying to do music over such a long period of time, and it, it kind of focuses on dealing, I guess, with um, people in a way that maybe like aren't cut out for it per se, or they just sort of like don't have their their head in the game, and it kind of 
um, the way lyrically that I, I, you know, try to make it apply is to so, sort of like all facets of life. Like for us, it really was like music and like projects and different things. But like, I, I hope that people can find like some relation to that in like anywhere in life, just like dealing with somebody that's just like, it's like, come on, man, like we both want this thing. Like, let's like, you know, let's, let's be a team here, but they just they don't, they don't click. No, I, I definitely think those lyrics can resonate with a lot of people. That's awesome. We hope so. Yeah. <laughs> you. We try to write everything a little bit open-ended so everyone can kind of like relate it to their life in one way or another. Absolutely. And so the Rock Shop International Tour, I'm hoping that will take place. Do you guys have any information about that? Is it a go or is it still on the fence? I'm actually like, I didn't know anybody knew about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been, there's the secrets that are slowly getting out. It's been, you know, yeah. we're, what I, what I can tell you is that we're going to do it. It's like, it's going to happen for sure. And like, you know, we were talking about Crispin before, like he's definitely the, the brain of, of that one, at least to my knowledge. <laughs> but, so, <laughs> you know, it, we're, we're all like, as a team, really determined to do this. And it's like, you know, it's going to be so much fun. Like, we're just really looking forward to it. Like this whole time and like the the hype at least for us is just building and building and building so it's like you know it's it's all about uh making sure that it doesn't like nothing goes wrong i guess because it is so crazy these days and like you know you don't want to set it up and then something you know bad to happen or like you know just the pandemic doing what it's doing so like you know we are going to do it but most importantly we're going to do it right right yeah that's kind of the best way to approach it is if you're going to do something make sure you're not half-assing it like the fire exactly. festival. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, and so I know you guys are influenced by a, a lot of, you know, heavy metal bands or hard rock bands, but um, what would you say is like the most inspirational album that's gotten you through like hard times? Oh, it's such a good question. <laughs> and a hard wow. one. Yeah, and a tough question. I mean, yeah, like, we're, we're total like music geeks, so like it's one of those questions, like, you know, like, name any album, and it's like, oh, so many come to mind. Like, I know, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, um, I, oh, man, kind of, well, okay, for me personally, just in, like, lately, I kind of, I'll, I'll hop on to, like, new, I'm a big new music guy, I love listening to, like, fresh stuff, things I haven't heard before, so then I get, like, you know, that fix when your favorite band releases the new album, you know, I'm always glued to it, and I, I would say, like, just throughout like the pandemic thing and like all those new experiences and stuff it was for me I the mask by in flames was one that I just had on loop forever and it was just like I don't know I pull I pull a lot of just the energy from that I think and that that one just it just comes to mind you know you asked the question that for me was the album that's just like boom and it's it's pretty new and I'm sure there's so many more if I really think about it but like oh, I'll have to check that one out I haven't heard it yet oh it's so good it's so good trust so me. they have an arcade version of that too Yes, they also made like an eight bit like arcade yeah arcade version that was like so yeah. funny. It's just all like synth sounds. It's so oh, really wow. good. Like, <laughs> I'm super fun and I, I love that kind of that stuff. That sounds fun. Yeah, how you dress. I do not have a particular album. I can't even begin to there's like <laughs> there's not a, a standout one from my childhood. There's not a standout one from teenage years to now. It's I, I don't know. I, I like so many different genres of music and I, I, I'm like ADHD with music. I'm like banging between stuff so fast. Like, I guess the last week I've been listening to a lot of Breaking Benjamin, specifically oh. their new album, like the last week. But like, I hadn't listened to Breaking Benjamin for like a year prior to that. So I'm like literally all over the place. So it's kind of <laughs> fresh to you. <laughs> yeah. I'll usually like jam an album like pretty religiously for like a week and then like move on to like, just like playlists and then I'll like, hear a band I'll be like oh yeah and then I'll get back into them for like a little while and it, yeah it just I bounce back and forth between everything do you have like a favorite um memory from a concert you attended like if you look back at all the concerts you ever went to is there one that really stands out in your mind yeah I have like two really big ones I've talked about these a lot before but I my first concert ever which was Alice Cooper in oh, 2007 wow. which was like set the bar really high and it's probably the culprit for our crazy like theatrics and everything um but that and then a five finger death punch show actually that i worked when i was 15 that kind of i had some moments during that show that kind of like made me decide to pursue music just for various reasons but yeah those are my two for sure all oh, right on 
I, uh, I I don't know if it was, it was as much a like pursue music kind of question, at least on my end, but like mem mem most memorable for me was like, uh, and I, I said this, I think I've been telling this story so much because it just is so funny, but uh, <laughs> I saw In Flames again, funny, but uh, back to that, but uh, it was uh, November, the last day of November, and they're doing the mustache thing, and they're like Swedish guys with like big beards, and then they, <laughs> they shave their beards, and they had like the most ridiculous mustaches, and they, they had like the twirly handlebar and all this stuff. <laughs> I have this memory of like being in the pit, like rocking out. And then I like stop and their old bass player, player uh, Peter, usually like the biggest beard. And now he's got like the twirly mustache and they're playing like the heaviest breakdown ever. It's like, dun, 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 dun. and he's just like glaring across the crowd and like me and him make eye contact. And he's got that mustache. And I was just like, what, where am I right now? Like, what is going on? Like, it's too awesome. Like, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crazier than like ZZ Top with their long beards. <laughs> yeah. It was like, you know, you expect the beard and then you get, you know, the handlebar mustache. And it's just, <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it seems like the only time you see that type of mustache is from like the 1800s or something. <laughs> but the see yeah, like, or Star Star last of November, perhaps, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is coming up for uh, Two Shadows that people should be on the lookout for? Well, we've got in, our EP is coming out sometime in the spring or summer. We're not sure. There's no actual release date on it. It's pretty much all done. We're actually going into the studio this upcoming week for a while just to put final touches and finish everything up on it. Um, but I, we don't really know yet what's the plan for like, or we know kind of, but not so much dates like music videos or singles that are coming out before that still, but that's all we know so far is an EP definitely in the spring or summer. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got some stuff coming and then we got an EP coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll take that. Do you guys know how many songs yet or is it still kind of to be determined? Six songs, I think. Yeah, six, six, songs. six songs is the talk. Uh, and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. I, but yeah, I think six. Six is the, our, our number at the moment. That's a good number. <laughs> a good EP I guess number. that's what it, you know, to qualify as an EP, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's one of those things, like, I think, like, the EP versus the album, it's less songs, but, you know, you can put more out over time, so we hope, you know, so, like, the, kind of the idea, you know, we want to do an EP, and then we'll be, you know, right back at it again with some more stuff super fast, so. Yeah, it's especially yeah. helpful as, like, a newer band, too, because we can stay a little bit more frequent, yeah. versus, like, if we release, like, a full-length album, and then like sat on it for like two years to release the next one as a new band. It's it's tough. It's tough to like stay relevant. So it, it helps us as a new band like be constantly active and have content constantly. So. Yeah, yeah. And especially since COVID, you know, a lot of people are going that singles route because you don't want to release an album and then not be able to tour to promote it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which was hard. They kept, uh, we've had a lot of meetings with the label and they, when COVID first started happening, we were supposed to release like last year technically, but um, it's, there's been so much like just waiting and just seeing, watching how all the progressions of COVID happened and not sure what to do, but eventually it got to a point where we're like, we have to release something. It's been too long now. Like, I know we can't tour on it, but whatever it's, uh, we have to get something out at this point. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is there like a dream city that you guys are dying to perform in? Like if you could go oh. anywhere to perform, is there one place you really want to go to? That's another super tough question. There's yeah. so many. <laughs> uh, I, oh my goodness. I haven't even played in the States before. So like, like, oh my goodness, so many places around there that are like just infamous and so famous. I've always wanted to go to like Europe to play music would be another really big one. Like Kind of any of those just like big name cities even like you're talking about like boston earlier like that would be like unreal to play there yeah, yeah i don't know that's uh that's really hard i guess ones that stand out is <sighs> right <laughs> that's, that's hard. i guess when i was a kid i grew up on like a lot of bands like like uh motley Crue or whatever like i really liked lots of those bands and just the idea of like the Los Angeles, like Sunset Strip or whatever. So I think if we ever got the opportunity to play somewhere on that street, I would be, that would be a cool, like check off the bucket list for sure. Totally. Um, but I don't know, like there's definitely like, I just want to see places. I have no idea. I, if, if I wasn't a musician, I would probably be like a 
somebody traveling the country in like a van or something and seeing it but i've banked all of my like uh, i guess i've i don't know i I've, I've definitely like hoped that music would take me around the world and put all my money in that rather than saving it and like traveling or something so i hope to see everything for sure but yeah that's probably that would be a cool experience to like cross off los angeles <laughs> nice oh definitely it's actually funny i've grown up in the u.s my whole life and i've never actually been to los angeles except for the airport <laughs> oh, really? oh, you so might nice. cross it off your bucket list before i do <laughs> <laughs> i've been there but not played a couple of years ago i went to like the nam show in anaheim oh yeah and i uh, went through the lax or whatever to get to get to anaheim but it was pretty close. I've never been to like Sunset Strip though, or like any of those like historic like music hubs or anything. I've just literally took a shuttle from like LAX to Anaheim. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> now Nam is pretty cool. I, I went there a few years back. And Nam? Yeah. Did yeah, you guys cool. perform there or just kind no, of? No, no. I, I just went myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. I really appreciate your time, guys. It's been a blast chatting with you and Thanks for rushing to talk with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. That was lots of fun, yeah. Really hope to get to see you guys live um, one of these days. Oh, Maybe absolutely. On the Rock Shop tour, you know, that the tour sounds really fun, so I really hope it happens. Yeah, oh, as long as COVID or the pandemic seems to be, like, rolling over like it seems to, and that continues, we should be out next year for sure. Yeah, as soon as that opportunity opens up, we will be there, and you'll all hear about it. <laughs> Very cool. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and thanks again. Yeah, you too. Thank yeah. you. Cheers.